Hey, welcome back to the channel, Two Penny Props It, and we are finally showcasing the Mark V. So, as you, well, you might not notice, some of you have got a keen eye, well, this is not the same one you see in the photos. In fact, I am rebuilding it again. <laughs> so, this iconic costume put me on the map, I'd say. Like, I wasn't very well known until I built this and showcased it, and Halo luckily, um, showcased it but like I said I am rebuilding the costume so that's why it looks different and I thought it'd be really cool to make a video on the Mark V and also document its process of rebuilding it and making it a better costume for next season of cosplay so first things first I started you know gathering pictures and stuff I made this little slideshow so let's just go through it so first things first we have the concept art, the original concept art for Halo CD, that's from the Ghost on it, so that's a book art, but it's still based on the same imagery. That's for Halo 5 Guardians, uh, no, Halo 4 DLC Championship Bundle, the concept armor, concept drawing, and it's a bit based on that as well, even though they didn't use it in the end, it's still a really good modernization of the classic Mark V. So you're probably wondering, why can I just make the you know, the anniversary version if I'm making up to date cosplay. To me, it just doesn't hit the same marks. So, the classic Mark V, iconic, beautiful, anniversary, it's okay. I'm not gonna bash it or say bad things about it. I do like it, it just doesn't hit the same marks with me. It doesn't have that same nine, like 90s, 80s kind of retro sci fi feel to it. It looks really clunky, so I've highlighted some areas that kind of kind of bother me about the suit as a cosplayer and as someone recreating something as iconic as the Mark V. So the biggest issue I have with this, it looks even more blockier because there is some smoothness to the original Master Chief, but there is some really outrageous like blockiness to it and completely you know bulked out that way and push that down and bulked up the chest and it just it looks all out of proportion and awkward. The, uh, the ab plate and the torso is joined together and that's you need that space. And you know especially around here the thighs you've got the uh, soft arm a bit here and it's just with this big chunky thing that's gonna that's gonna chafe <laughs> to be honest. And last of all come on man the moon shoes you can't do that to the moon shoes. <laughs> So yeah, they got rid of the moon shoes and kind of made these weird trainer looking things. I like it, I like it, but it's just not that if it makes sense. It's a good Mark V. Oh yeah, and last thing, the weird jaggedness. I don't know what's going on to the quad piece compared to how smooth it is there. But anyway, yeah, moving on to the next slide. It's in 2017, just bit by bit until the conventions ramped up in 2018. So you know, rushing around. So I started off doing some chest piece and the back piece. There is some reach shaping to this, but a lot of people couldn't grasp the concept of is like it not being the same. If that makes sense. So here's my uh, like you know, so the costume. I'll go back to that slide. So that's uh, the costume in whole. But anyway, yes. So a lot of people often comment about my old suit about why is it got a reach chest it's like I don't know why people can't click together that you know Mark V and Mark V B are so different and really not mostly graphically different like you know I say that looks more like that rather than the reach chest so these are our reach concept art this is when back in the day when it's doing reach there is thinking the Spartans being Spartan 2s in Mark V and that slowly changed to Spartan 3s and then Mark V B. As you can look at the uh, resemblance to classic Mark V here. So yeah, it's, to me it's all like the chest is very similar to Reach anyways so I don't know why everyone just assumed I just had the Reach chest but I, I, I slowly lost that argument. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of gave in there, I was like, yeah, whatever, it's just got to reach chest with a Halo, uh, Halo C back. But yeah, this is the, this awkward photo in the car park 
is the first time I actually put on and it is the first photo and it completely well I've had bigger tweets and stuff back then but back then it completely blew up my account and I went from having like 300 followers to like 1000 in like a day it was mental <laughs> so yeah this is my awkward in the garden garden in the car park just, isn't it awkward but things didn't really fit properly together and you know it's my first proper go at having like cosplay like this I've cosplayed before I mostly just make props but yeah, this is my first proper cosplay Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand this, it's like when you cosplay, it's usually the first time you actually put the suit on. So for example, I've been up all night doing this costume, so it's actually the first time I get to wear it as like a And obviously I was like, hmm, so the fire's fallen down, but I did not notice that because it's my first time and, you know, I didn't have a test fit. If I test fitted it, and then these would be strapped down properly and held up properly. But unfortunately, sometimes, guys, this is what happens in cosplay. It's like... I get a lot of comments saying you're missing some parts of your launcher. It's like, I'm not stupid. Maybe I just didn't have time to complete it for this convention. Often we grind all night to get our cost base. It's like almost perfect. We never get them perfect because we never finish anything. <laughs> well, in my experience. So yeah, cosplayers are queens, kings, absolute champs because sometimes we bring our cost base out even though they're not completely finished and we know people will nitpick them. So yeah. So that's the first illustration in 2018 at Cos Expo. Moving on, we have got MCM in 2018 as well. That's around May, October. I can't remember which one it is. I, in the end, caved in with the whole, it's reachy. So you know what, I need the new fires. The other ones were too small. They kept falling down, so I made some new fires. I also added a new pouch on the side. What angers people more? <laughs> yeah, apparently, I'm not allowed to carry my own stuff and yeah in all fairness I did my very best to make it like you know in game in law so I just used the reach uh, to sign on that and I just you know they can take them off but sometimes convention I I need to put my phone and wallet somewhere and they're not gonna fit in these pouches they're way too small I also added a voice module what I could play uh, Halo Z clips and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool, and people can hear me in this costume. Unfortunately, that's broken and doesn't really work anymore, but I'll probably remake that soon. But yeah, and this image is awesome because that's actually in, I think it's called Neo Magazine, so that one's actually in a magazine, so I'm pretty proud of this one. And then later on next year, I didn't really change much again with my suit. Mostly I did new pouches and a new quad and some adjustments and stuff. I still have a bit of sag on the thighs, but not much can do about that until, you know, two years later. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really nice, awesome shoot. I loved it. This is my guy, AA Photography. He's pretty good. And Dave Feepers Photography, awesome guys. You ever see him at convention? Worth getting a shot from him. And then he's done some more photos for me, what look absolutely wonderful. I also got spotlighted with this one, so much appreciated. Free for free are actually my biggest fans, believe it or not. They're, each time they post about me, my account goes, ooh, and it's, I really appreciate that. Like, a lot of people say bad things about free for free, but they're always like so community focused, so I love them, so haters gonna hate. Mmm, ah, some good coffee. Yeah, and then, yeah. I got annoyed about the reach comments, <laughs> so I completely remade the chest and torso. And it came out alright, had some cool LEDs and stuff on it, and but it just didn't I made this like a week before a convention. I have this mistake of never finishing things properly. So it was kind of rushed and it didn't really fit properly and it didn't really the back and the front didn't really look uniform. But it was alright for the convention, that's all that mattered, it looked good for the photos and later I will remake that chess piece in the future when I travel a few more in the slides. <laughs> so yeah this is of course that's by 2019, this is where things really got good for me, like my suit just looked absolute fire, I got some really good photo shoots and everything, Edo posted this one on their Instagram, what is great. And it was a really good convention, it was some really good scenic. And the god himself, Marcus Leto, completely approved my costume. 
what made me so happy because I have a bad imposter syndrome. I was like, oh damn, that's actually me and he approves of it and I felt really good. So yeah, props to Marcus Leo. He's actually remodeling the Halo C costume and it looks great. So I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from that for my updated suit as well. So yeah, much appreciated. That was a really, that was a really good day for me. <laughs> so yeah, moving on. At the end, I can't remember if it's the end of 2019 or the beginning or the end of 2020. But this is, I went to Splash Damage to do the Halo Reach uh, PC launch. It was absolutely fantastic. And I had a complete blast and it was all fun. It's like my, one of my like first like proper paid commission jobs to do and it's a really good day so you might notice that's my new chess piece it's a bit rushed <laughs> it looks great though it's fine it's just that i just kind of i really wanted you know i'm going to splash damage and i'm going to do like a proper offense i was like i really need to get this suit up to spec so i remade just the chess piece and it looks great and it's just one i'm currently using now i just need to add some undersuit details to it Overall, that was a really good day. So yeah, that was. Um, so we're going to go back into the workshop now, and we're actually going to show you like the new parts we did. Or so yeah. So this is where we are at the moment with the Mark V suit. This is the chest plate you saw on a previous slide, and I've started adding a leather undersuit to it. I'll show you on this as well just to give it a bit of bulk and break it up a little bit. And I've got these bits for the arms as well. We'll go under there and it gives that kind of cool space look. I've added these new shield emitters what have been custom 3D printed with my resin printer. So yeah, I hope you can see the little Easter egg in there. Because that's a materials group, the manufacturers of it. And yeah, notice the little, little hammers. So I like bringing these details to life and I also want to bring like the mythology back to the Spartan suit because it's kind of future renditions are kind of forgetting its origins. It is a Spartan. It's got some good like Greek and Norse mythology into the costume. So I'm going to, you know, add them back. Excuse the squeak. And the other new addition is the new ammo belt. So this is all made out of leather. And I engraved a Unity symbol in there, like uh, stamped into it. Uh, oh, I love these so much. So these are all made out of leather, a bit of webbing, some studs. They also open. So you've got magazines in there, so I can put a couple Halo magazines in here. And some snacks and some skills. <laughs> so now we've got electronics in the back. So these look really awesome. I need to uh, sort these out for those ones eventually. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of decent details. This is in the new back plate. I just press it on here and it lights up. And that's got the updated Shield and Mirror logos. So yeah, so far this is shaping up really good. So next week in the Majornia vlog, that's so correct. Also, yeah, quickly, it's got the uh, the E3. <laughs> it's got the uh, macro aerial. So I'm gonna paint that black. I used the uh, 360 wireless thing just you know little details like that make people like smile so it's kind of cool so we've got that in there and we also have the new helmet what's still in pieces i just need to print the upper side but it's really strong it's got some really good connection points very sturdy and very retro looking so i 3d modeled this myself i'm going to sell the file once i've made it so i can tweak the file a little bit and this is the biggest bit i'm working on at the moment these are the new space stompers. So you for them, like proper moon shoes, just like the classics. So that's what I really want to bring forward. I really want to bring the classic spacesuit look back to the Mark V. So yeah, I think I've done a really good job with these. These are 3D printed. So all these will be some buckles here. I'm gonna make some futuristic buckles to clip on and I'll make some boot covers. What I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna make some like, uh, some like, tubular space seams so like looks like it's vacuum seam to the ankle because i noticed in like pictures of mark 5 and like the game like the leg piece is like all connected to the foot so i'm going to be doing that so yeah i hope you like this kind of new style videos we'll be doing this once a week on the update to the mark 5 journey 
until the suit's completion. So thank you to my patrons, as usual, put them up at the top. And if you want to consider, this is the best time. E3 is ramping up, there'll be some new header things to make, and I'll be really busy, so the patronage would help a lot. But as usual, this is Two Penny Props. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.